Hey, welcome to this edition of How To Q, putting in a TV. I've got one stud on one side and drywall on the other to secure the TV mount. What's the best way to secure any heavy object to a just a piece of drywall with no stud behind it? These are flip toggle bolts. So all you really have to do is half inch, half inch drill, drill into the wall, stick this through, I'm gonna, my finger is the wall, and what happens is the wall will flick this metal part out. And so if this is the wall, you tighten this little piece up against the wall, you break it off. Well, it's a lot easier when, uh, when it's up against the wall. And then you screw this in and it tightens this up against the drywall. It's gonna be a lot easier when I show it to you. I'm gonna do that now. You can't see it right now, but I've drilled into there. There's nothing, even though this Zircon stud finder, which is usually pretty reliable, is, is, there's nothing over here. My studs are way over here, which is the left side of your screen. So I'm gonna double check that there is no stud here. And it actually gives me a mark to drill, to drill into. If the drill goes in very easily, there ain't anything back there. And there's nothing back there. So. Time to take a half inch drill to install your flip toggles. Okay, here are the flip toggles I got from Home Depot. On the box, it'll give you exact instructions about what size drill bit to use and how much weight you can put on it. By the way, for this mount, I am using the cheapest I could find, which is $45. This will be a rental. I have two great videos on over mantle TV mounts in the top right hand corner. One that is a manual, it manually articulates down, and the other one is it electrically articulates down. Check the cards or check the description for those videos. Now I'm gonna drill. Okay, I've got uh, one side up. I didn't tighten the bolts on one side. I'm gonna get this side up and then I'm gonna tighten everything to make sure it's level. Make sure you have a four foot level, two foot level works obviously. So now I'm gonna put the drywall side on. You'll see how that works. All right, quick break in the action. I actually lost a little bit of the video when it comes to putting this flip toggle into drywall. It allows me to go into a little bit more detail of how that actually happens. Before I do that, on the left-hand side, I didn't include that portion into the wall mount just because uh, I found a stud on the left-hand side. Here's a two and a half inch lag bolt. I put one on, one on the top left, one on the bottom left extremely secure on that side. So now let me show you how this flip toggle really works. I can show you kind of what's going on behind the wall too, since I lost that video. Here we go. Okay, I basically just have a half inch uh, piece of drywall. Obviously that represents the wall. This is the flip toggle. Um, for my particular flip toggle, I needed a half inch drill bit. As I said before, you just push it through, you pull that plastic piece until it is tight and then you just break it off. Um, breaks off very easily. This is a quarter inch uh, wide machine screw. And again, I just take my drill, love my Makita drill, and you don't want to go too crazy. You can actually use just a Phillips head screwdriver, but don't go too crazy. And there's a close up shot of it. Now, this would be what you would see from the inside of the wall. As you pull that plastic piece through the front side of the wall, obviously that toggle flips. Then you put the quarter inch machine screw, which is two and a half inches long, by the way, and it goes right into that piece. Okay, I hope that illustration helped. There's probably a number of other products out there kind of like this. I'll leave a link in the description for what I used for this, including the washers, including that lag bolt for your project. Let's get back to mine. All right, back to the project. I'm just showing that I do use washers with these machine screws. I've always, I've obviously already put in the flip toggles and then I'm just securing those with the washers and the machine screws. Let's check to see if it's level. And it's level. That ain't going anywhere. Find a stud when you're doing this if you can. There's bound to be a stud somewhere in that wall. Attach it to one and then you can, you can use these flip toggle bolts on the other side. They're super solid. Here's the link for these bolts and anything you will need for, your, for mounting your TV, including one of these, man, they're awesome. All that is down in the description. Please check that out. 
Like if you enjoyed this video, if you learned something, make a comment. That's it for this edition of How To Q. I'd love for you to subscribe. We'll see you next time. Okay, bonus footage. Let's see if I can get this TV up by myself. Now we'll see you on the next edition of How To Cure.